I can't actually make my mind out whether I like this car or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through what I do find good and what I find bad. Okay, this is a six-speed diesel, and I have to say, for a small car, it does have a little bit of pull to it. It's by no means fast, but there is a little bit of tug there to the accelerator. The whole instrument panel and the dashboard, it just couldn't be more basic and it's quite clever the way it's been done in such a basic fashion yet, you know, it looks reasonably appealing. Look at that speedo. I mean, wow. What could be easier to read than that? I mean, it couldn't be more easy to assimilate the speed you're going than that. You just look down, bang, there's the speed. Fantastic. Rev counter too. Big, it's like a child's watch big fat digits the myelometer you want to change the details myelometer press the button press another button settings menu service seven and a half thousand eight thousand nine thousand miles average 31.8 miles per gallon I mean the distance you've traveled the range you've got left I mean this this car is just it's idiot proof basically and yet it still has that French quirkiness Everything is a bit minimalistic and bland. It's a bit sort of BMW-ish in some designs with the uh, with the dashboard. The dashboards and BMs are usually very, you know, they're just black and they're there and they're stylish. The door cards, very attractive, looks good. Rear vision, it's a narrow window. Most of it's taken up with that uh, rear windscreen wiper though. But you can see what's going on, even if it does look like you're looking through a TV screen. The side mirrors are very large. The steering on this car, very light, very nimble. And the suspension is really quite amazing. It's not um, soft or spongy at all. It actually feels quite sporty. I mean, you can really chuck this thing around if you wanted to. It's very impressive, actually. The brakes, the brakes aren't bad at all. I don't find them grabby. I've got uh, that sort of sponge effect where I can apply the pressure I like at a gradient rather than that grabby effect, so thumbs up for the brakes. The actual appearance of the car, well, you know, you either like the look of it or you don't. There's no in-between when it comes to French cars. Plenty of headroom in the car, but yet again this is one of those cars where I'm looking down through the windscreen rather than out through it, I, I, I feel higher than the actual car and a lot of cars are like this now and it's only because they're cramming so much in and yet they're just enlarging the roof of the headroom so you have to look this way so rather than you're looking down at an angle rather than straight out the driving position really not too bad at all it's a perfect height the steering wheel is great this is a good little car I personally despise French vehicles. It is, there's only maybe a handful of French cars available now and in the past that I would even consider selling, let alone buying. But I have to say, credit's due where credit's due. This is an excellent vehicle. Renault Megane, <coughs> excuse me, Renault Megane, it's one of the best vehicles I've driven in its class for a long time.